actually made it on one of the walks. I said I was going to go up. So I'll take you with me and see what goes on. Down here and then down towards uh, the bottom to the river Irwell. Um, as you get further down, there's one section that's likely to be a little bit muddy. Um, the rest of the walk is relatively okay. It's just this one section um, that's going to be a little bit muddy. Um, but hopefully we've not had too much rain in the last few days, so hopefully we'll be all right. So we're walking down there and then we're going to walk um, up this back lane. Um, there's a couple of hills on it, but nothing that's, that's really steep or anything that gentle open. We're coming up behind here and round uh, back here. There's a bit of tarmac road, back lane, things as, as well. Um, yeah. And so we're up. Oh, it feels a 
to find this sign says the chatters and fight on this site on 26th of April 1826 and loom weavers engaged in destroying the power looms in Thomas Aitken's mill were fired on by soldiers on the 60th foot four men and one woman were killed a fifth man an onlooker was also later shot dead Aiden Field Local History Society, 2003. Chatterton Plainfield Peace Memorial. This land was generously given to Ronswater Urban District Council for the public use and enjoyment, and in thanksgiving for peace following the Great War by Lieutenant Colonel Austin to parrot of the Cliff Stubbins Vale in 1923. In this site of Chatterton Mill, where the right took place in 1826.
Yeah. St. Philip's Church. Very nice church it is. Yeah, I'll leave managed to get the bricks to yeah, go around in an arch without Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking beautifully. Yeah, we're at the back. Stone walling, yeah, yeah, going up, slowing down. <laughs> 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 right up, going to see the horse awesome. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful, it's an electric fence. Electric <laughs> Hello, Hello, horse, how are you? <laughs> Hello, dog. You like that? <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Welcome to the paddock campsite. Yeah, got the earth, all sorts yeah. of stuff. Funny sort of gypsy caravan type nesting hook things over there. Yeah, and they've got a toilet block over there. Yeah. So, so this thing's popular. Yeah. Never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> This is Glenn trying to get to a rather narrow squeeze style and swearing, swearing that the diet starts tomorrow. Oh, no. Here he goes. Will he get through? He's going to. He's going he's, he's to climb over the wall now. But it could be more dangerous doing that than going through the style, Glenn. All right. Well done. Can you get down? Do you want a hand? Steady, steady, steady. You want a hand? <laughs> So how long have you been at Ramblers then, Arnold? I think I joined in 2007 because in that year I packed up quite a lot of what I was doing with the British Computer Society and I was looking for something to fill up a hole I suppose really and I discovered that this Ramblers group went to the 
suited me because at that time they only did Wednesdays and Sundays, both 10, 11 miles. So the Sundays are out for me, the longer ones anyway, because the family will be coming out for tea. So I went on one of the Wednesday walks, enjoyed it, and carried on. Since then, as you know, we've expanded our repertoire, plus in the six mile Sunday walks, which you've done with us. And then a couple of years ago, I started these pub walks, which have really done very well. That's it for six miles, I and mean, we get 20 odd 30 people on them. On our Wednesday walks, we get mid 30s very often. <coughs> We get younger people as well, working people, and uh, often we get three generations, you know, which is nice. It yeah. gives the younger ones something to enjoy, and hopefully they'll keep it up later on. Good. So that was at Randall Sampson, uh, a long time member of Rosadale Revelers, and a good friend of mine. <coughs> This is Glee Cult Animal Sanctuary. Spent a lot of work here, a lot of money here since last time I come.
towards it. <laughs> That's it, cheers! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Must be this way. <laughs> 